back. So I thought I'd just tidy my hair as well. Um, I've got a really not lovely, gorgeous wine bottle, but I'm going to show you that in another video. Oh yeah, I'm coming with more videos, guys. We're coming with more videos, you know. In December, we need a little bit of life and soul. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what I fancy. This is by Gallo. It's about six or seven pounds a bottle. I think I need to shut my curtain in a minute. So that light coming in. Yeah, six or seven quid a bottle. Moscato. Yes. So, peanut butter and almond popcorn. Oh, don't you just love that sound? Now, do you know what? I'm going to tell you something about me. I am a lightweight. So we're going to be having some giggles in this video because I don't consume alcohol like that. And um, honestly, one glass of wine gets me very silly. One glass of wine gets me very, very, very silly and it's fine to be silly sometimes you know so I hope this tastes nice I hope this tastes nice oh my goodness it does smell like peanut butter It's very mild, very, it's flavoured, it's very mildly flavoured. Mm. Right, the haul. Hmm. Are you ready? Because I'm not. I'm a big kid at heart and I make no apologies this is me without alcohol clink 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 before after now you see the the thing about Moscato is it's sweet. It's a beautifully sweetened wine. And I think I guzzled it rather quickly. So it will go through my bloodstream rather quickly and straight to my head. But don't worry, we'll have fun guys, okay? Right, right, right. So nice to talk again to a camera and wow this is crazy so oh I'm just gonna pick up every, anything just like I did before and go through it this is another snack choice this is from M&S and this is eight pistachio and honey baklava it's one of my favorite desserts my favorite sweet treats and they are really naughty i don't know what well, it says made in croatia i know that it's a mediterranean sweet treat and they are just crumbly delicious i love pistachio i love honey and they're very fattening they're lovely to have with a glass of moscato and <laughs> and they're lovely to have with a, like a cup of coffee after a meal I don't think I'm going to have one now, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. What's this? This is um, a box I bought from TK Maxx. I've got, got quite a few of them. I was born in the 70s, darling. Yes, the 70s. Hey, my namesake, Missouri. Missouri love. I was born in the 70s. And... <laughs> 
the reason why I'm saying that is because I have a lot of photographs, uh, printed photographs from like my mother's albums, my father's albums. And I remember taking pictures on a camera and going to the chemist, going to Boots the chemist uh, and, uh, and waiting two weeks. <laughs> Do you remember? Those of you from my generation and, you know, in that kind of bubble, well, in that kind of understanding of what I'm trying to say. You see, it's starting. It's starting. Okay. Concentrate. Those of you who understand what I mean, I'm not saying that people don't print these days, but it's less likely. People just put the pictures up on their hard drive and kind of forget about them. But I have loads of loads and loads of photographs and I'm going to put them in this box. And it's going to be really happy memories. So yeah, me and my daughter are going to enjoy that. I've got a couple more boxes. I might show you in another video. Okay, so that's that. What's in here? Oh my goodness, I bought this in autumn. I bought this in autumn. This is for Thank God it, does, it doesn't expire until April 2019. I didn't even check that. But I bought this as, this for my daughter. I don't really eat biscuits. Um, but it's a tin of Oreo biscuits. And it's got the Oreo, Oreo Golden, Oreo Original and Oreo Choco Cream. And it was like three quid. Three quid for, you know, biscuits that you can take to school. So I mean, it's a random haul. That's that. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me tell you something, right? I live in London. And when you live in England anyway, you know, it's a cold country. So our winters are quite long. So from... Actually, winter's not been bad recently. But I would say it's about six months of winter. But we haven't had the bitter winter yet. It hasn't begun in my city. Um, so I bought this for autumn because of the colours. Look at that. Oh, it's so, and the arms are so, oh, cashmere soft. They had them in different colours. They had them in white, but I wanted like something really autumnal. I love autumnal colours. Autumn is one of my favourite seasons ever. How much was it? It's from Primani, from Primark. It was £13. I don't know if they still sell them. But um, yeah, it feels really lovely. So I'll be able to wear this until April. Yeah, that's how long our winters are. What's this? Oh yeah. I love this brand. You know, I'm trying to not overuse the word love. That's something I'm trying to do this year. I really admire this brand. This brand is Rituals. Um, when I buy from them online, they ship from Finland or Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands. <laughs> and something I did differently in this haul is I literally opened a lot of things because I wanted to make sure that everything was safe, legit, not broken. I didn't do that last time and I think that was a bit risque. So this time I did open as much as I could. That's why the box is open. But um, I just love, they have like a Buddhist kind of philosophy and I love Buddhism quotes and the way of thinking. So this is a brand called Rituals. It's, I'm so excited to open these things. I'm so excited. It's long overdue, guys. <laughs> Goes to show what I was going through. Ooh. Now, for my 40th, I'm thinking Indonesia, I'm thinking Thailand, I'm thinking Jamaica, I'm thinking Mexico, I'm thinking Italy. I don't know yet. I can't choose. And this is going to be for me to take away with me on holiday. I have booked a trip to New Orleans already. And I'm going to the Essence Festival. And that was on my bucket list. So I may take it there. This is the Ritual of Sakura. And oh, but the smell of this fragrance that they put in the products. 
is one of my favorite scents that I've discovered. I love it. A friend of mine bought me a hand cream. I need, I need a hand cream now, actually. Um, but she bought me a hand cream and it was Rituals of Sakura. Um, what is the scent? The scent is organic rice milk and cherry blossom. That is my fragrance. They do it in a perfume. And what have I got? I've got four relaxing bestsellers. So I've got the body cream, the shower foam, the body mist, yes, and the body scrub. Good. The box is really robust as well. Let me open it. This is really exciting. <laughs> I hope that everyone's well and happy and I just hope that everyone is healthy and I just wish you all the all the love in the world I really wish you all the love in the world okay for you and your family Ooh, elasticated and the box it's a really lovely box really good sizes I have to say that when rituals do a sale online it's absolutely fantastic the prices are amazing and I think I paid about 30 quid for this and that's including delivery and the deliveries it's either UPS or DHL but it's a tracking service and these sizes are fantastic I've really got to try the mist oh it's got a lovely bamboo or wooden lid as well you know me and my fragrances. Flourishing bed and body mist. Flourishing bed. In Japan, the annual flowering of the Sakura, which is beautiful. Google, Google Japanese Sakura season. In Japan, the annual flowering of Sakura has been celebrated for centuries and symbolizes the beauty of life, make each day feel like a new beginning. I think this is probably just bedtime. Oh, it comes out lovely. Oh my God. I can see myself on the beach, age 40, just ah uh, and ah uh, and ah. Uh. You know what I'm saying? This smells um. Amazing. Wow, it's really strong. It's the it's that the smell that's in the hand creams and so on. It's stuffed into the mist correctly. It's perfect. I love that. So that's going in my suitcase. Right, what's next? Love this shopping bag. I got this shopping bag. From TK Maxx it's robust and it's funny they're, they're obsessed with llamas in TK Maxx for some reason what's in here oh remember it's a random haul this is isopropyl if I'm pronouncing it properly alcohol contains e ethanol and as a beautician I use it to clean my lipsticks guys this is my one of my favorite let's move that out of the way this is one of my favorite gadgets gadgets gizmos in my bedroom this is my beauty carousel I love it it holds so do I love it I need to bear with me guys I'm I'm remember I'm recharging I'm refreshing who I am changing words and I don't want to lessen the meaning of love so I'm trying. If I slip up, I slip up. Forgive me, okay? Um, I really like <laughs> this beauty carousel and it holds so much things, so many things. It holds my perfumes, it holds my it holds my skincare, it holds um, nail varnishes, everything. But I like to have my lipsticks open on display. And when I was 19 or 20, I worked at MAC Cosmetics and we were taught how to clean our lipsticks with isopropyl alcohol and that's what I do and that's why I can have them on display and it's just easy access I like I like um, my lipsticks out like that 
Um, but yeah, so this cleans my vanity, it cleans brushes. It's so good, guys. I would invest. And I got this from a shop called Hollywood Nail Supply. It's a wholesale and retail shop. And they sell everything to do with nails. And my daughter's really got into nails. <laughs> really got into nails being a teenager. I think I was the same. And it's three pounds. And this is a five, is it a 500 mil or 250 mil? I don't know. It actually doesn't say. But anyway, it's huge. Three quid. What else? New look. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need socks. We always need socks. And especially this winter. But you know what I find? In winter, everybody wears like dark colours. You know, it's always like black um, black coats or grey coats, quite dark or dark navy. And that's understandable because, you know, you just want to get to where you're going. You want to get to the shops or get to work, commute or whatever, get to school. But um, I've kind of changed that this year. I, I like a bit of brightness in winter because my family are from the sun. And even as human beings, we need vitamin D. And without vitamin D, we can get the blues, we can get a bit down, we can feel depressed. And sometimes when you only see dark colours, even though black is my favourite colour, you know what I'm saying, well, you know. But um, sometimes when you see it too often, it's just not inspiring. And it, we don't have any, like, in the public, we don't have any trees. We don't have a lot of evergreens. We don't have a lot of trees with leaves. Yeah, so it's quite empty. Um, again, saying that this winter is not been too bad. But anyway, so I'm talking about socks, right? I like my socks to be fun because when I get to friends' houses, when I come home and I take off my shoes, it just makes me laugh. And recently I've just seen a lot of novelty socks and they make me smile, they make my daughter smile. And you know what? It was so inexpensive as well. So new look, I was a student and my student uni days doesn't expire until summer this year. So I get 20% off. So they had a mega sale. I think New Look is in crisis at the minute. They're in a financial crisis. So they had a three for two deal on the socks and then it went to 25% off and then students got a further 20% off. So I think I paid like under four quid for all of these socks. But let me show you something. This is so cute. I think my ring just fell off, hold on. Where's my ring gone? I'm losing weight. That's a good sign. Got I'm 12 and a half stones. Well, actually, as of today, I'm 12.1 stone, but I want to get down to what I've always, what I used to be, which was at least 10 or 10 and a half stones. It's still in my healthy range. Okay, I think that's all the socks. Now look at these fun socks. This is so funny. <laughs> okay, let me have a sip of that Moscato. Moscato. I apologise for my etiquette, but I'm in my bedroom. I'm drinking with friends. You ain't going to judge me, right? Mm. Lovely. The simple pleasures in life. Okay, socks. Right, let me just pick one up randomly. Right, by the way, I really like crack, like Christmas cracker jokes and dad jokes. The stupider the joke, <laughs> bad grammar. The stupider the joke, the more I laugh. Have a great day. Have a great day. Get it? Avocado. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Look, 
me and my daughter are going to decide who wants what. But I know she doesn't like avocados. This one says sparkle and dab. Look at the unicorn. I'm having a deja vu. What's going on? I'm having a deja vu. Strange. Avocado. Get it? Avocado. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, this is cute. This is very me. Very me. Naps and snacks. An ice cream, a sundae, a heart de a hamburger. Oh, this is really funny. <laughs> I love the pink. Drop it like it's love. Drop it like it's love. Do you know that song by Snoop? Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When it, it get an attitude, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's laugh, drop it like laugh, laugh at my jokes, laugh at the socks, laugh at life. Now this is very me. Now this is going to be me and my daughter going to fight over these socks. If you can read this, bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Right, socks. See how organised I am? Yeah, it's random, but everything's kind of in categories. I did sort out the boxes. And let me tell you, I've got loads to get through. Loads, loads. La 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 loads. No joke. Oh dear. Oh dear. My makeup's slipping and sliding. Okay, so. Those are the socks I got from New Look. And I, I like, I really like, I really like leopard prints. It's one of my favourite animal prints. I'm very Bet Lynch. New Look. Look how nice these are. And it's a nice height. So I can see myself in the French district. Clip clopping with trainers in my rucksack. I ain't no fool. I am no fool, okay? You wear these for the photographs, you clip clop for a bit, and then you put on your flats. Don't get it twisted, I ain't no sucker. Oh, God, now this top, bargain. I got this at a huge discount. So if any of you are students out there, sign up to um, uni days and you get discounts everywhere. Supermarkets, drug stores, chemists, um, ASOS, fantastic for ASOS, a new look. I, Now, I think the original price for this top was $24.99, which is still quite a good average price for a top. I got it for 12 quid, and it's a body. I'm really into bodies. Look at this, dazzling, dazzling. Look at the back, mesh back. I mean, this is good for someone with a boob job. I never thought about getting a boob job. Hmm. Right, put that back in the new bag. Okay, so I think that's... Oh, there's more. Very exciting. Very exciting. Got two perfumes in here. Major. There may be trouble ahead, but why there's while there's music and moonlight and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. Tip, 
from a tipsy woman. Never drink all around the rim of the glass. Go back to your lipstick. Otherwise, you're going to get what just happened to me a few moments ago. A joker smile. Tip. And you know what? People don't tell you. People don't tell you they've got lipstick on your tooth. And people don't seem to tell you that you've got a big joker line across your face. Take it from me. I'm just going to reapply my lipstick as we do. I am wearing Veet Liner. Plum liner and fired up matte lipstick. All fired up. My favourite colour from MAC. One of my favourites. And I absolutely love wearing matte lipsticks. I'm not a fan of um, frosty or slip and slide I'm a matte girl matte yeah okay right I have a lot of home fragrances and I'm going to do a very special video for you all showing you my home fragrances this is an air freshener by Sainsbury's and this is an air freshener, Febreze Air Vanilla Latte. Oh my goodness, this is lovely. You can spray it in your curtains and your sofa and your upholstery. Well, I do and it doesn't damage it. And when I was in Paris for my 30th birthday, we went to this club called VIP. I'm sorry, I've got stray bits of hair floating around my lip. And um, when we went to this club, we're partying away, you know, everyone's sweating out and dancing out and rocking out. And this guy, looking very kind of like, you know, fashionista, walking around, who works in the club, he's got air freshener and fragrance and perfume, and he spraying it like this. Going around the club spraying it. I'm thinking, this club doesn't stink. But um, I mean, I don't think that was a great idea in an enclosed place with lots of party people. But what I noticed is that he sprayed downwards rather than up in the air for us to congest it in our lungs. And that's what I do. When I spray air freshener, I spray it downwards and it's enough. This is a really strong fragrance. I don't know what it is. It's a really, it's a, it's a delicate floral scent to neutralize odors all around your home. And it's true. So I was just checking that it was recording. Yeah, and it's true. It's It does do that, but it's such a beautiful floral scent. Cheap as chips. Cheap as chips. And that's just exclusively for my bedroom. This one, I can't remember, but it's... I'm, oh, gosh. And I'm not really a fan of air fresheners. I like um, aroma diffusers. I use them a lot with natural essential oils. I have one in the kitchen and I have one in the living room. And I just think it's it's more healthier for my pets and it's healthier for me and my daughter. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you just have a little bit of... But normally when I spray, I'm not normally in the room, so... But this comes out, look. It comes out in droplets. You've got to be careful with this one. If you've got hardwood flooring like me, then when it goes onto the floor, it can slip. You can slip and fall down. So please be careful of these kind of mists. Mmm! It smells like vanilla custard. And I don't even like custard. I like the smell of vanilla custard. I don't like to eat it. But it's a beautiful, pure vanilla. I, this is... So that's what my bedroom smells like. But I'm going to do a special video. I've got loads of candles that I bought. And I've got some lovely home fragrances and tips that I can share, you, share with you. Because you know what? I love fragrance i love perfumes but i actually really love fragrance so i want to share some tips and kind of share with you what my home smells like sometimes okay so this is 
really exciting. I have two really amazing designer fragrances. The first one is Mew Mew. How do you pronounce this? Mew Mew? Mew Mew? Mew Mew? Mew Mew? Mew Mew? What is this? How do you pronounce it? Mew Mew? And it's Le Rosé Eau de Toilette. Not opened, never opened. And in here, darling. In here. I'll show you later. <laughs> I'm gonna show you later. I hope I don't forget. I hope I don't forget. Right, let's open this one. Beauty Parasol, give me a scissor. Super play. Don't I have a scissor in there? Okay. Then what I'll use is a tweezer. So I get the tweezer and I just pierce the packaging from side to side. Say oops, up, side your head. Say oops, up, side your head. Come everybody, say oops, up, side your head. Say oops, up, side your head. Do that. Gorgeous, bit dusty, bit dusty from the um, packaging residue. Classic Mew Mew box. Mew Mew. It's such a simplistic packaging, but I just like it really like this brand give you a close up I haven't done my nails because I've got nail varnishes that I bought I'd like to try them on I don't even remember what this smells like oh the spray comes out lovely Ooh. Ooh. That's a lovely, fresh, sweet green. Beautiful fragrance. What a gorgeous bottle. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's really lovely. For an eau de toilette, it seems quite strong on my skin. But I have to say, I don't know about you guys, I absolutely love, and I'm not misusing the word, I love wearing fragrances in colder seasons. They carry well. I think it's because the molecules, I don't know the scientific definition or meaning, but the molecules behave differently in colder temperatures and it just allows the fragrance to disperse better. You get a much better perfume cloud. It's my favorite time to wear fragrances. This is a lovely, lovely perfume. That's very me. It's it kind of, it's kind of in the family of Ralph Lauren Romance. So if you don't really like Ralph Lauren Romance, you might not like this. It's green. It's fresh. It's a very pretty spring type fragrance. But I would wear it now. It's lovely. Kind of reminds me of a better version of what's the name of that fragrance. I can't remember the name of it, I think it's called Truth. Is it Truth? By Calvin Klein? Truth by Calvin Klein? I can't remember. But it kind of reminds me that it's a better version of that. Okay. Every so often I'll be checking my lippy. So I don't have anyone here to correct me. Okay. do this right don't worry we're going to go back to that fragrance okay let me put it in front of you. remember remember this i think is going to be the finale we'll see <laughs> okay now look at this big box i bought stuff from super drugs and again i get student discount and with uni days i get sometimes I get 20 percent off 
um, this is something they sent me for free. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. This is bubble purifying and charcoal face mask sheet. I need to investigate the company. I'm really particular about what I put on my face. I think I invested about £200 into my skincare last, this, yeah, last year. And um, it's working so well for me. I don't want to mess it up. I'm not really into experimenting with my skin now. But we'll see. We'll see. I know how to repair it. So if I get a reaction from it, I know how to kind of remedy it. So bubble purifying and charcoal face mask sheet. Dermalog dermalo dermatologist tested. <laughs> and it's a foaming mask. Okay. And it's a, that's, that was a freebie anyway. And oh god, these pro these are the best lip products I've ever bought. Other than my beloved Mac lipsticks, these last all day. They don't transfer. As I mean, they do transfer slightly, but only slightly. They are. This is a fantastic brand. Now the brand is called Too Faced, and I went crazy because I don't know how many of you are with ASOS but ASOS stopped their I'm a premier account holder I think is it premier account holder I pay for the next day delivery a lot of my friends use my account as well I'd recommend you if you've got very very loyal or trustworthy friends or associates and they want a next day delivery of ASOS but they don't want to pay the £9.99 a year then if you trust them get them to use your account well I did that for years never had any issues really and getting my friends to use my account meant that I got loads of points so every month I was getting vouchers like 15 pound vouchers 20 pound vouchers and so on and it was it was worth my while and they stopped it last year they stopped it I think autumn last year and they gave me quite a few vouchers to use they just kind of accumulated all my points and gave it to me in vouchers so that alongside me getting 20% student discount with ASOS, I bought Too Faced Melted Metallic Lipsticks. These are, I get compliments all the time. They last, they're really moisturizing. The emollients that they put in these products are fantastic. Oh my goodness. That Mew, <coughs> that Mew Mew, this Mew Mew is good, good. So we have Too Faced Melted Matte, Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. They are not playing with that longwear. And this is in, I think it's, it's happening. This is like my favorite cut. I've got to swatch these. I've got to put them on for you. Yep. It's happening. I'm going to swatch them and kind of put it in some kind of like real quick video at the end or something like that. Um, this is a really fantastic bold red and this is called Lady Balls. Lady Balls. It's like an orangey red. It's not a blue red. But it's it's fantastic. They just last and last, and it's a lovely matte finish, but it doesn't feel drying. This is I think I've got another colour missing. Um, this is called Pillow Talk, and this is gorgeous. So, oops, it's a nude. Oh, the one that's missing has turned up. Yeah, pillow talk. I get excited. This has got a nice iridescence to it as well. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. And the one that dropped on the floor uh, is called Sugar Kisses. And it's a really lovely kind of icy, sugar icy pink. 
nude. Sugar kisses. I'll do swatches at the end of the video. And the mascara. Look at the name. Better than sex. <laughs> Why did they call it better than sex? I think they called it better than sex because it lasts all day. And it, you know, makes your lashes stay up for quite a long time. <laughs> I discovered this mascara by just browsing in Too Faced one day and a group of Arabic women who I always admire because their makeup is just always on point in my opinion. And um, I think they were Muslim because they had veils on and they had hijabs. And they came into Too Faced and they said, Please, please, the mascara, the mascara. And I thought, what's this mascara? So, I mean, you know, English wasn't their first language, but I was really intrigued. I was being a nosy customer. And um, the, <laughs> the lady who was obviously being mischievous just looked at them straight face and said, oh, I'm better than sex. And they said, I think, I think, you know, show it to me. So she went over and she got the mascara and I said, better than sex, what the hell is going on here? So I'm snooping around, you know, browsing, pretending, and um, they picked up so many. This was in West End. They picked up so many of this mascara, and it's about 20 quid. So it's not cheap. And when they left, I said, excuse me, sorry to be nosy. I said, what's this mascara? Oh, I heard you say something better than sex. And she said, oh, yeah, it's like a world bestseller. Our mascara's called Better Than Sex. And I thought, oh, that's why they were being discreet, because, you know, I'm sure they were religious, and they wanted it for the um, result that it gives but they didn't want to kind of say the word. <laughs> sex. Yeah, so better than sex apparently, but I have tried it and it's a fantastic mascara. I normally get like bits of fibers in my eyes when I wear mascara. Don't get it with this. Lovely pink packaging. And it's got the embossed Too Faced and better than sex word in. I recommend actually, and it really does, it says, no, I mean, I don't know about this. It says 1,944% more volume. 1,944% more volume. What are they talking about? Retail. 93, no, okay, this is the percentages worked out. 93% saw base to tip curl. So this is talking about people. 100% of people saw dramatic volume. 100% saw longer lashes. And 90% saw a dramatic look with one coat. This is consumer study results. So that's where they get the 1,944%. Okay. Right, another perfume. 16 pounds, one, six, 16 pounds for Versace woman in boots. And I've got loads of boots points, loads. So I just treated myself, 16 pounds. I did put that on my Instagram. If I do see discounts and stuff, I do post it. I like to share the deals. And I think years ago, a lady came in and came into my workplace and she smelled amazing. And I said, what are you wearing? She said, Versace Woman. And I bought a fragrance called Versace Woman. Let me get in. This one. And this has got more for dusty. This is Versace Woman, Eau de Parfum. And it's got more for dustier kind of scent. Oh, it's open. Hold on. Let me open it. Let me open it. Let me open it. Um, I have recommended this to my subscribers and a lot of people have said it is nice, but it's a bit dusty. Dusty finish. Bit of a 90s kind of perfume. Yeah, that's the bottle. That's Versace Woman. So when she told me Versace Woman, I bought it and I thought, I said, this doesn't smell like her, but I really like this, especially on rainy days. I like wearing this fragrance on rainy days. But when I saw the deal, I thought, let me buy this, it's only 16 quid. And I thought, this is called Versace Woman as well. This is what she was wearing. It's a lovely pear, fruity, very fresh, summer loving fragrance. And it's called Versace Pour Femme. It's a gorgeous fragrance, lovely every day. 
and I like the packaging. Okay, brushes. I love makeup brushes. I can't get enough. Really good deal on these. Um, this is Elf. Elf is in Superdrugs. It's a very good brand. They do really lovely makeup brushes. Look at that. Look at the shape of that. It's gorgeous, right? So I have a brush pot that I have on my dressing table. You can see. My hair brushes and makeup brushes. I'm very into makeup brushes. And you know why? Because they last forever. So I can put it in the shop somehow. Yeah, they last forever in my opinion. Just got to look after them. So packaging is amazing. The presentation in the box. And I just like the contour of this brush. And it's got a clear base with a nice silver hold. What do you call this? Nice silver neck. But the brush, oh, it's super soft. It's gorgeous. And it's designed for contouring. And it was like a three for two. Uh, Real Techniques. This is called Brush Crush. It's like a unicorn kind of theme. And as a professional makeup artist, if I do wedding makeup, then I like to take these with me because people just get in the mood. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this on display. I think this is going to be in my professional case. But yeah, I think it's lovely. It's nice like hologram, glitter. I'll show you one that I've already got. I'll just pick the three up that I have. They're really, really lovely. They're really easy to clean. And I just think that they're just lovely. They're lovely to use at home and they're lovely to use in your profession if you're a makeup artist or a beautician. Okay, and I think I've got some more brushes. Oh, this, I heard so much about this. This is Revolution Lace, luxury baking powder. So um, I didn't get into the baking powder um, phase or what do you call it? I don't know, I can't, I can't remember. But I, think I wasn't into baking and contouring, but it was like a couple of quid. So I'll give it a try. And... I'm always filing down my nails because if I have massage or if I do facials um, and cleansing the face, I, I really do not want to scratch anyone's skin. So my nails are always quite low. So I bought some emery boards from Primani. One pound fifty. And they're pretty. Making nail filing fun. I'll keep that in the box. Ah. Oh. money didn't spend any money I've told you all before about back to Mac back to Mac is a sex it up a bit is that better yeah back to Mac is a recycling scheme that Mac have been doing for God knows how many years or over 20 30 years I don't know how old Mac is however old Mac is they've been doing back to Mac listen to me carefully if you have <coughs> excuse me six of any Mac containers not packages, containers. You get a free lipstick when you return six. So that's foundation, mascara, lipstick, so on. So I've got two free lipsticks. Now they've got a new range called Powder, Powder Kiss. I've never tried it. I don't know if, you, if it's gonna show, it's like a matte finish lipstick packaging. And this one is called, I was not going to show, um, this one is called Shocking Revelation Powder Kiss by MAC. It's a lovely red. I don't know if I can tap the screen and it'll make it clearer. Yeah, a little bit, sorry. Um, yeah, Powder Kiss, and it's just a lot, you need to see it, if you go into MAC you'll understand what I mean. It's got a lovely powdery kind of silky finish, but I've heard that it slides. So it's a good everyday wear. And I put my lipsticks up here. <laughs> yeah, my, my little lipstick collection. 
and I think I've got room for one more. And this is um, oh, this was for autumn. This is Myrrh by Mac, just like a nice nudie. It's scratched though. I think maybe I've opened it. I must have tried it. Myrrh by Mac. I put my lipstick lids here. I don't know if you can see. I put my lipstick. I'll do a close up at the end. Lipstick lids here, and then lipsticks here. No more room in the end. There's no more room, girl. And um, so that's my. Oh, they gave me some samples. What did you get samples of? Oh, they always give me samples of strobe cream, but I just put my samples of things in my drawer. Whatever. And what did I pay for? Oh! I bought one for me. And I bought one for you lot. I'm doing a giveaway soon. I've been saying it for a long time, but I'm doing a giveaway. I've just been building up the products. Um, I don't know if it's here. Anyway. Yeah, I had one. I have bought one for me and I bought one for you guys. I think I've put it in the giveaway stash. And this is Viva Glam Taraji P. Henson Mac Matte Lipstick. I like it because the packaging is different. I like Taraji P. Henson as a actress. I think she's really fun. And the lipstick is really pretty. And what I like about Viva Glam is that I think all the procedure, oh, she's got her signature on there as well. All the proceed, all the proceed, proceedings. Do you know what? It's the Moscato. All the money, All the money goes to people living with um, either H HIV or AIDS, or it goes to people that have um, are in vulnerable situations, and Mac donate all the profits from the sale of any Viva Glam lipstick lipstick to people that need help, are in greater need than we are, <clears throat> and I respect them for that. They've always done that. So get yourself a Viva Glam lipstick, even if you're buying it for someone else. And that's your bit for charity. And I think that's a really generous gift from a cosmetic company. Taraji P. Viva Glam. Big up Viva Glam. I haven't emptied this box fully. Oh my God, there's another perfume in there. Listen, we got... This is going to be a long ass video. So I told you already to get your snacks. Get your snack game on. We're gonna get through this year. Elf again. This is such a weird brush. Precision multi blender massager brush. Look at that. This is a brush. I've got to open it. I've got to test it out. Let's have a look. Look at this. brush how strange oh it's very soft I'm gonna play with that and I've got another sculpting brush the same one that I showed you before but I won't open that for now I might give it to my daughter she's getting into makeup now and but skincare first skin first ah Dolce and Gabbana the only one from the fragrance shop yeah this was a fragrance shop purchase I stuffed it in this box Dolce and Gabbana the only one now I bought this fragrance because my daughter we went shopping and she said mum mum that's the best fragrance I've ever smelled in my life and I thought I don't think so. But every time she says that, I'm just like, I've got to get it. I've got to get it. Because she's not really into fragrances like that. She just kind of, it's kind of like a required part of her everyday wear. You know, it's like deodorant, fragrance, but she's not into it like me. But when she says, Mom, this is the best fragrance I ever smelled. 
I just have to buy it, you know what I mean? Because I know it means a lot to her. So, Dolce & Gabbana the one. It smells like, mm, it's very sexy. No, Dolce & Gabbana the only one, did I say that? <laughs> or did I say the one? The only one, the only one, the only one. And this year they're gonna say, the side piece. <laughs> You've got Dolce & Gabbana the one, Dolce & Gabbana the only one, Dolce & Gabbana the only, 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 only one, Dolce & Gabbana for the side piece, Dolce & Gabbana for the main chick. I mean, what's going on? Dolce & Gabbana, what's going on? But I have to say, damn. Damn! If you like La Via, um, not La Via Belle, no, no, no. If you like um, Trésor, La Nuit, if you like, um, just go and smell it. It smells. <gasps> Sexy. You missed me. I've missed you. I did tell you it was going to get silly. I've had some Moscato. And some peanut, peanut almond popcorn. I mean, it's all right. Not the best. Not the worst. And we've done that movie boards, haven't we? Right. So, that's the case. Right, that's that done. Um, let me tell you, we've got loads to get through. Don't complain. Right, oh, Indulge Beauty. Last year, for the very first time in my life, I went to um, Westfield Shopping Centre. I normally only shop online, but you know, um, with what I've been going through with my personal life, I just had to get out more, go and shop a bit more, you know, go and see the city that I live in. And Westfield's all right. Westfield is a trap, okay? If you ever come to shop in London, whether you live in England or abroad, or you live in London like me and you've never been, it's a trap. Leave your debit cards at home and only take 50 quid maximum because you will spend a lot of money. As soon as we got to Westfield, my daughter's been many times. She's been with her um, relatives, family. She's been with um, her school because there's kids Zania. So she, she's, she knows what Westfield's about. And I think my brother took my nieces and her out for shopping and dinner one time anyway Westfield is a trap the reason why it is designed for your shopping pleasure my daughter as soon as we went in there she went oh mum just to let you know you're putting in spend about 100 pounds I was like no Zai you know I'm frugal that's not mummy and that's not me I spent about 100 pounds as soon as you go in there it's like ah if you're hungry they've got food if you want to sit down you can sit down they've got seats for you to sit down if you want to drink you can drink there's drinks you want to charge your phone? Charge your phone for free. They've got discounts. They've got the most friendliest, like, retail sales assistants you've ever met. Within the first 20 minutes, I must have spent about 40 quid. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Leave your debit cards at home when you're going to Westfield and take a budget. Anyway, went to indulge and I indulged. <laughs> I was looking for this nail varnish for a long time. I really like the look of it. And they had a sale. And the brand is called Smith's Cult. The nail varnishes look so cute. You know that kind of like hammered um, metal lid. It's really heavy and dense. This colour is called Pillow Pie. I just love this fresh colour. I love fresh colours on my nails. And normally with what I do as a job I don't normally wear bright colors I normally wear nudes so that color is really cute when I'm not at work however I vamp it up the winter and the autumn season this one is so gorgeous I love this <laughs> love this color this is called lover's creep I love the name of it I love it I love it I love the name I know I'm saying love I know I'm overusing it but love that's what makes the world go around right Missouri love 
um, lovers creep. Lovers creep. What does that mean? So I creep. Yeah, just creep it on the down low so nobody has to know. And uh, while I was in Westfield, I popped into Marks and Spencers. I don't know if I can eat this now. I'm not even in the mood. Italian though, Italian. White chocolate <gasps> with whole pistachio. Suitable for vegetarians, not suitable for nut and peanut allergy sufferers due to manufacturing methods. Fat, 13.3 grams. Hmm. Why did I pick that up? Okay, what else? Oh, so they, I've got some samples in here. Korean and Japanese skincare. Love it. Love Korean skincare. And I'm not sure where this is from because it's in another. Yeah, it's made in Korea. It does say made in Korea. And I've got loads of these like skincare samples. I'll just put them in my drawer. Oh, I've got some exciting things. Oh, and I was passing rituals. And oh my God. How am I going to get through this video? You don't, you don't, you do not understand what is down here. Wait till I show you. Anyway, I had passed Rituals, the shop. This is the Ritual of Sakura. And you know the um, fragrance that I like, the organic rice milk and cherry blossom? Well, they gave me loads of samples of the Magic Touch body cream. And in a giveaway, I'm definitely going to put a couple of these in the giveaway. And she's just like, yeah, just take them. Just take them. You know, um, they've got staff that just like, just, just take them, love. Just take them. Just take How many do you want? You want six, you want 10, you want 20? You want it for your mother, your father, your brother, your sister? Just take them. I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you. So I'll definitely share them with my subscribers. Okay. Oh, got an itch on my nose. Darling. Yeah. Let's do this. Galen. Now, two perfumes. I've got Very Hollywood by Michael Kors. I didn't get this from Westfield, I got this from Perfume Click. But I think I paid about 25 quid for 100 mil. Never seen that price before. Um, let me just show you this quickly. It's a love, if you like your Pure Poisons by Chris and Dior, if you like your white florals, your jasmines, which I do. If you like white floral perf um, fragrances, perfumes, this is gorgeous. If you have Paris Hilton teas, it smells very similar. Kim Kardashian, I've never tried any of her fragrances, but I've heard, I think I saw it on Fragantica that it's similar. So this is Michael Kors, very Hollywood. The bottle is just, it's just the business, isn't it? It's massive, it's absolutely massive. My hands are huge, so look at that. Um, some people wear perfumes for compliments and some people wear perfumes for themselves. I do both. Sometimes it's nice to wear perfume and get a compliment. Nothing wrong with that. Especially in a city that is so isolated and hardly anybody talks to you. If they're going to talk to you because of your fragrance, I'm like, hey, I go and you smell good. Well, they don't talk like that. I don't know why I'm doing American accent. I like American accents. I like my Jamaican accent. And I like a northern accent. But anyway, I'll do a British accent, yeah. I'll be like, you right. You smell good, you know. And I'll be like, thank you. Yeah. What are you wearing? I'll be like, it's a secret. I ain't telling you what I'm wearing. I ain't telling you what you're wearing. Don't tell them. No, it should be a mystery. Such a good fragrance. Mmm, okay. I have never been a fan. I have never been a fan of Shalimar by Ghislaine. It always wins the world's best perfume. If you Google it, it comes up number one. If you go to Fragantica in the polls, in the votes, it's number one. I'm like, okay, why? 
Why? I know why. I don't know what happened. But something happened to my chemistry. I ordered a fragrance. I'm not going to go too deep into the story. I ordered a fragrance, okay? And they sent me Shalimar Le Ritual Parfum Sensational Body Lotion instead. That's not what I ordered. But I got to keep it. Let me tell you something, right? Maybe the Shalimar perfume doesn't really work well with me, but the Shalimar body lotion. <laughs> People. Now, if you Google it, there's a beautiful blue bottle. Shalimar are changing all their bottle designs to this. I think it's called the B design, the B bottle. So all the Shalimar perfumes, or most of them, are going to look like this. And I don't like this. That's not my favourite look. The blue bottle, if you can get your hands on it, get it. Because you can reuse it. You know, I like reusing old um, lotion bottles. I will fill it up with Nivea or something. I don't care. Um, because this on its own is about £38. £38. Now, designer body lotions are worth the price because the scent lasts. I just thought, oh God, this is, this is my reaction. I was like, oh, I don't even like Shalimar. I don't even like Shalimar. Why? I mean, they sent it to me, okay, I can keep it, but I don't even like Shalimar. I like Shalimar in the lotion. It is one of the best fragranced lotions I've Ever. I, uh, <sighs> this is delight. Yeah, I'm not joking around. I'm not joking around. I have the. I mean, I paid about eleven pounds for this Burberry Body Gold um, body cream. It's not. It's not gold. Burberry Body Body Cream. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's well worth the money. Only eleven, twelve quid. Thirty-eight pounds. I have to revisit the fragrance. Maybe my senses have matured, but it is an absolutely gorgeous fragrant lotion. You see the seriousness in my face. I. This is womanly. It's sexy. It's citrus. It's a gourmand kind of fragrance. I can't describe. It's it's got a medley of, of fragrances. It's got powdery. It's got citrus. It's, it's Shalimar. When I smell that perfume, it smells like a funeral parlor. I thought, what the heck is this? Why is this the world's best perfume? What the hell? I really wanted to believe in it and love it, and I was just like, no, this is not working for me. But the lotion, I cannot praise it highly. At the same time, it's very expensive, so I would go to a Guerlain counter and just try it okay try it before you buy it peeps is that it okay that's that one right we have let me let me show you what we got next get your snacks get your snacks this is it might be a two hour video i just I, it's my comeback i've got lots to share with you oh you know i've got to make up for lost time get your snacks Get your snacks. Get your snacks. Get your snacks. Uh, uh, get your snacks. Yeah, yeah, get your snack. I didn't, I've never shopped in Gap in my life. I've just put these in a Gap bag. Okay, so I went to page two. I'll try and do these a bit fast. I don't think, yeah, this is not like majorly important. I went to Paper Chase last year. I got this Goddess journal. This is an amazing journal. It's going to help me organize and kind of like share and remember my dreams and aspirations and holidays and things like that. 
um, every section is divided. Beauty, hair, nails, skincare and makeup, fashion and destinations. And I'll just read like the first bit. It says, use the pages in the section of your goddess journal to set general beauty goals. Record your own therapy preferences. No, sorry. Record your own therapy preferences and keep track. Why, am I, why can't I read? What's going on? <laughs> right, let me sit down. <clears throat> Are the children sitting nicely? Then I shall begin. Use the pages in this section of your goddess journal to set general beauty goals, record your own therapy preferences and keep track of your treatment experiences. And from now on, if you're asked for your thoughts on a particular salon or therapist, you can quickly check against these notes to back up your recommendations. Similarly, how often have you thought, I'll look that up later and completely forgotten the place, name or suggestion by the time you come back to it? Not only, I'm not reading it properly, I don't know, it's the alcohol, not anymore. There's a handy section here and in each section of this journal for you to record recommendations you receive or read about online from magazines or through friends. Oh, and these products you can't live without? Add them to the product record pages and say goodbye to making costly mistakes when you're replenishing your beauty supplies. After all, life is too short to feel obliged to use up that pot of underwhelming yet expensive moisturiser. And it kind of you know, it says the same in each section, but it says in the next month, in the next three months, in the next six months, a year from now. It's so clever. Um, my beauty contacts, um, hair, I do my own hair. I wear wigs or <clears throat> I do like faux locks. I mean, on my Instagram, I show you all the kind of hairstyles that I do. I don't really go to people to get my hair done anymore. Um, I'm going to treat myself to manicures and pedicures like when it's special occasions like I've got weddings uh, I've got a wedding that I've been invited to and obviously coming up to going on my trip I'll get like a manicure and I normally go to the um local nail shops that are run by Vietnamese ladies but I kind of always forget which one I forget the name so I'll be able to write the name and if the therapist the therapist if the nail technician was good um, but yeah, I thought this is really cool. I love the colouring. It's really nice. And there's no date. There's no date to it. So, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, I've got to finish it by the end of 2019 or I'm a failure. So I like that journal. Oh my goodness. I love garlands. I really love hair garlands. I put all mine up here. I make them or I'm inspired by Instagram. Um, I buy them from ASOS, they're so cheap, especially like when it's Halloween or festival season, you get them for like six quid. And this just made me smile. I saw this in TK Maxx. It was like three pounds, I didn't see any more. I've been looking and looking and looking and I can't find another one. And I don't know if I'm going to take this out of the house. It might just stay in my bedroom and it just makes me happy. And I like foxes because I feel that they're just urban, just urban animals that are mistreated and not as loved as our dogs and cats. And I, I've always been raised to give them a little food or, a glut, or like a bowl of milk or water, especially in winter time. And they always curl up on the garages in front of my bedroom window and... They always kind of, why am I going to cry? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry. Get it together, you fragile woman. Anyway, um, when the sun is like coming, beaming down on top of the garage tops, the foxes kind of like go over to the where the sun, where the sun hits and they just curl up and get warm. Oh, Maybe I was a fox last time, you know, and God has said, look, you've got a nice warm home now. But um, I just thought this was really, really cute. And I actually have another makeup bag somewhere that has a girl with a garland. Let me see if we find it. No, I can't find it for now, but I'll show you. I'll show you that one towards, you know, the end when I do all my little photographs and things my little fox making me cry okay so 
got my little foxy. I need um, a bag for travelling when I go to the airport and I need a bag for work. Primani, darling, Primark. I call Primark Primani because anytime I see anybody, I say, like, where'd you get that from? It looks amazing. They always say Primark. And I'm like, what? It's always Primark. Primark is just brilliant. Eight quid. And I think it looks quite sophisticated. I really like it. It's quite firm and solid. And I like the shape of this. So I might do a what's in my bag video, but I don't really put much. But yeah, I thought that was really good for travelling. It's big enough um, for everything, for general makeup stuff and for um, passports and stuff like that and documents. Oh, okay. So, winter in England. Winter in England. This is the last out of the gap bag. Winter in England requires hot beverages and a flask. <laughs> yeah. When I go to work, I need to take my, I always take my own food anyway, because I like, I'm quite frugal and I just like my food. I don't like to spend unnecessary money unless I'm treating myself or, you know, depends if I'm in the mood. Um, and I, I'm, but I'm just not wanting to eat as much food because I'm going to be 40 looking slim and sexy on the beach, okay? Anyway, I've got one flask by Thermos and I normally stuff like hot pepper pot soups in there or I stuff like pasta dishes and oh, it's just yummy. Um, but I didn't want to mix my hot beverages in my food flask. I want to take my food flask and a hot beverage. And this was so cute. Again, TK Maxx is the one. I'm a cat person. I've got two cats. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. I love the pink and purple doggy. Is it a French dog? French bulldog I don't know but um I just like it with this bow tie and this is what I'm going to put my like lemon honey tea um in all my herbal teas or in the summer I'll put like cold beverages with crushed ice or cocktails nobody needs to know that you're sipping a little bit of a cosmopolitan on a lunch break if you have to um this is by a brand called Bodum and this is the fresh way to brew fresh coffee and tea. I don't know what, what do you mean brew fresh coffee and tea? But what I like about it is no spillage. And I've got disposable cups, but when I'm running to get the train in the mornings, I haven't got time for the splish sploshing. And oh my God, one morning, it was about 8.30 in the morning, this guy got on the tube in Westminster. And he got on, tripped. He must have had a big expensive... Um, cup of coffee in a disposable mug splashed it everywhere dropped it on the floor and there was this woman beautiful woman amazing suited woman you know very corporate right in front of him pissed as anything because all the coffee just spilt all on her court shoes and her tights and she just stood there like and all he could say was sorry and I was like you should have had a bowl and you can be in Starbucks they give you into the cup you take the cup you pour it in you put the lid on, you go about your business, you know? One of my favourite parks in London is, I love parks in London, love parks in London, but I like Greenwich, love and like. I'm stressing myself out. <laughs> no, I, lo I love nature, so I love Greenwich Park. I love that park. It's a gorgeous park for exercising, for seeing really... Um, Seeing dogs, seeing like, you know dogs from like Lady and the Tramp, like Dalmatians, like real lovely pedigree dogs that you don't really get to see all the time these days. I don't know why. Um, a lot of dog walkers go there and families and couples and I love to see dogs in Greenwich Park and the amount of trees and the history and the view of London City. And then you've got the Maritime Museum as well. And um, when I go to Greenwich Park, I like to take flasks so I can't wait to take this with a nice like choco mocha and just go for a stroll around stroll around the park with my daughter talking about life and um or telling her off no I'm joking <laughs> I don't tell her off in Greenwich Park we more philosophize about life and how we could do better you know life is stressful enough as it is isn't it okay so that's my flask. 
Do I need to freshen up my makeup? A little bit. Let me put on one of the um the matte. The melted matte by Too Faced. Too Faced melted matte, liquefied matte, long wear lipstick. What a long title. Right. Sorry for my side fat. I mean my side fat and my flat batty. <laughs> so I can put it on in front of you. This is called It's So ha It's Happening. It's Happening. Such a lovely colour. Yeah. When it goes on, it's very moisturising. Then it just sets very slowly without you even realising. You have to be... I need a lip brush. You have to be uh, precise in your application because it's like a paint, but it's not like a hardened paint. I don't want to confuse you, but uh, how it how you put it on is how it stays. I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of lip brushes. La 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 Okay, next. <gasps> I can't do that yet. Ooh, perfume. Right, this company, this online company is called Look Incredible and it's incredible. The reason why it's incredible is um, they sell fragrances and beauty products but some of their fragrances are testers and because the testers are not in the um, commercial packaging they're in the tester packaging they sell them for like half price I cannot believe I got this fragrance for what I got it for I got this fragrance for £40 and £40 is quite a lot of money but you'll see in a minute I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with Bottega Veneta, if I'm pronouncing it right, Bottega Veneta, Veneta, Bottega Veneta, um, Bottega Veneta Not Eau de Parfum. I'm getting so excited. This is a 75 ml, 40 pounds with free delivery because it's not in the commercial packaging. What's wrong with that? Who cares about that? I even called the, the person and um, he was like, oh, it's going to be in a white box. Is that all right? I was like, okay, as long as, as, long as the perfume is genuine, the perfume is genuine, all right? I love getting a bargain. This is a sensational fragrance. I cannot wait to share this with you in another video. Uh -huh. But Bottega, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Bottega Veneta not absolutely stunning presentation the fragrance oh god it's just divine the, the spray the look at the mist it just takes me to another it, this takes me to italy I don't know. It's um, owned by Coty now and it's made in Paris. You know what? I don't know if Bottega Veneta is a French brand. Sorry for my ignorance, but it's an absolutely divine perfume. 
the bottle is gorgeous this is definitely wedding day this is romance this is love what does it smell like it's a citrusy orangey blossomy heaven of a floral combustion of gorgeousness i love it i love it right so that's that Ooh, I forgot about this shop i haven't bought from body shop for ages i've got loads of um face masks from body shop that have lasted me for like so long and they are fantastic i have to talk to you about them in a skincare video i'm definitely going to do a skincare video or skincare and um, products um not a haul but i just want to share, share with you what i use and what i'd recommend and um yeah body shop are quite good but this <laughs> i just like the look of this and i bought this for autumn um, autumn is long gone but uh, it doesn't matter it's called fall for pumpkin and this is a 24 hour intense moisturizer for dry skin and I need that to get me through so I know I put Galen I'm gonna put this on my hands oh just body shop butters are the best like you oh oh if you like like caramel um salted caramel um pumpkin spice vanilla kind of fragrances put the fragrances on your pulse points yeah when your body heats up the fragrance will intensify it doesn't clash with the galen because i can't smell the galen anymore because i can smell everything i can smell the galen a little bit i can smell this i can smell the bottega veneta i can smell the michael kors i can smell the Moo meal, everything, and I smell, I smell good, baby. Me smell good, you know. Me smell good. <laughs> Look, I've only drunk that much. It's not a lot. And what I like about this, what I like about this wine, it doesn't give you a headache, which is great. The lipstick, such a lovely lipstick. ASOS, I bought them all for, from ASOS. Remember that. I've got the next day delivery and I use my student discount and my vouchers. The vouchers have an expiry date. I think I've got one voucher left and it expires in April. Right, what's next? Oh, I've got so much to show you guys. We have got a long way to go. Right, so we've got this little box a bag of perfume and a massive box of toiletries and accessories. Oh, 